and link for you. The presentation also has a sign-in link embedded into it. So if you have it, you can press that. And as you are signing in, when you are finished with the form, if you can put in the chat an, an uninteresting fact about you. Yes, let's post it again. I got gotcha. you. Oh, we both did it. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be something as like mundane as you think of, like you need to put both socks on before both shoes as well as your name, site, subject, and role. So who you are. 2% <laughs> milk. I think Shannon and I were talking about it, and uh, we said if you needed to put your toothpaste under, or your toothpaste, your toothbrush underwater before you put the toothpaste on. And she thought I was the weirdest person. But it's okay. <laughs> so anything like that. A lot of hikers. I always say I like to hike, and then about midway through the hike, I'm like, why did I do this? <laughs> if I do that too, join the gym. Right now, I'm on a three week hiatus from the gym. I hurt my knee. Miranda can attest to that. It's okay. You'll get back in the game here soon. Okay. You can breathe air. I like it. I'm very excited for you. <laughs> I'm assuming Bulbasaur is in the Bulbasaur Pokemon because he's one of my favorites. Awesome. I'm going to drop the link to the presentation in the sign in sheet again, just in case those of you are just joining us. Thank you. Canva. We did yeah. it on Canva. Shannon knows all the things. So if you need Canva advice, she's the one. I'm always lost. I, I want to do super cute things. And then I'm like, I don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, Francis. Yet I make myself have pain when I want certain things. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. That's funny. I used to have to have goat's milk when I was little. It's the only thing I could tell. Have you tried that A2A2 milk? Mm -mm. It's supposed to help uh, lactose intolerant people. Guitar is cool. <laughs> All right. Has everyone had a chance to sign in? Need some help with it. Looks like I'll post it one more time just in case so we don't miss anybody. There we go. And that's the PDF version of our presentation. So you can keep it, save it to your drive so you have it. So our norms, pretty basic. Participate positively. Use the chat. Add questions to the chat. Your audio for the duration of the training unless you have a question and you got to open it up. Stay focused. Follow-up support will be provided in case of technical difficulty. 
Just carry on as best you can, like we've done for the last year, and just keep on going with it. Okay, so I hopefully you all saw the title of this, and it says goodbye, Kahoot, hello, Blook It. Um, I actually stumbled upon Blook It in a new teacher training that I had to go to. Um, I didn't have to, but I went, I attended it. Um, and they were using Blook It, and I thought it was the coolest thing. It's basically Kahoot, but like taken to a whole new level. Um, so it's ran exactly like Kahoot. Um, there's different... Uh, game mode. So instead of just that, you know, the one with the annoying noise and Kahoot, I can't stand it. Um, but it has like a few different game modes that we'll get to play. Um, you can also upload your Quizlet. So if you've used Quizlets in the past, you can use that and upload it into uh, games and have the kids review. Um, but basically what it says here is it's a new take on trivia and review games. The way it works is that you as a teacher or a host picks a question set and a unique game mode. Then we generate a code that players can use to join the game. So just like Kahoot, after the game starts, players will uh, answer questions to help them win. Um, and that's where all of the, you can't hear me. Can anybody else hear me? Everyone else good? You yeah. can? Okay. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's basically just like Kahoot. It's, it gets more kids involved and, um, most of you, maybe uh, if you've already played Kahoot, you're kind of familiar with it, you know the questions only get shown once to them. Um, in Blook It, it gives the questions more than once. So if you're really trying to hit um, hard on a topic or kids aren't answering the questions correctly, it'll give them the question again. And then we'll talk more about it as uh, we move on here. So we know this is a lot on the screen, but the reason we put it there is because we gave access to the PDF and I can email all the participants. So you have it at the ready whenever you need it. So we, we understand it's a lot, but we choose a question set and we'll be showing all of this to you how to do it all. So choose a question set, whether you create your own question set, import one with our converter tools or find one on the Discover database. The one issue is if you don't pay for it, because I'm cheap, I like free stuff. I can't duplicate someone else's unless I upgrade, but I can surely take their questions and make my own type thing. Two, you select a game mode, which will show you how that all works. There's different types of games. There is one that looks just like Kahoot, like the kind of boring background. The other ones have some games and some kind of uh, spirited class competitions. My class has got very spirited with it. Also, you need to make sure to Keep an eye open for limited time, seasonal, and event modes. Sometimes they have some cool ones. Host and join a teacher. Simply host a game on a large screen in front of the class, and students join in and compete on their own devices with the game ID. Play to review throughout a game session. Students will not only be having a great time, but they'll also be answering questions to review content being taught in the class. And I can tell you that it does work. The review stuff I did a lot with distance learning and the kids loved it kind of have to watch they get a little competitive sometimes and then you can as a teacher download a report and it gives you how many questions the students got right or wrong which is really really nice to know kind of how like if they got question two wrong continuously you can go back as a teacher and be like why why did they get this one wrong so this is the kind of like reader's Over guide yeah, um, you can also, um, sorry, Shannon, I forgot to mention, yeah. you can also assign cah or cahoots, you can also assign blickets as homework, and it works really well, too. Um, and there's also a mode where you can set them up in teams. So if you wanted to group a pair of students together, then they can um, battle out with the rest of the class. So this is a video, it does not have any words. This is the one thing that's not on the PDF, it has a picture of it but I will be more than happy to send it to anyone. This is, will show you both the student view and the teacher view. I just wonder if I go like this, okay. So the students will enter. I make them use their own name so I can have a good report. I had people who played with me. I told them they didn't have to use their own name. They get to pick whatever little they call emoji they want. <laughs> this is what the questions look like to the kids. So this is the kids view. And then they will have, this is the gold game. 
they'll have different chests, whether they get to collect gold, steal gold, or maybe they picked a bad one and they lose all their gold or they swap gold with someone. So they never know what they're going to get. And then this view, it's kind of short. This view is what they will see on the big screen. This is the teacher view that you would post up in your classroom on the big screen. And so up on the big screen, you can see as a teacher that you, who's doing what in your class and how the positions change. And the more questions they get correct, the more chances they have at being able to place and getting more gold. And then up in the corner, we'll have a view report. See. Did you want to show the actual website, Shannon? Yeah, we can. Get I can. There. You want to show it, and I can explain kind of where everything's at. Okay, hold on. I gotta go through the other way because it does not like me. <laughs> no worries, you good. Let me know if it doesn't work. Sometimes um, the website is since I think it's because it's so new um, that sometimes you have to reload it more than once. Um, but basically, it kind of looks just like Kahoot how it's all set up. So you have on your left hand side, you have like all the extra stuff. I use my sets and you can favorite sets. And then up at top, um, you have your play button where you can just join a game. Um, next to it is discover. And if you click on that, Shannon, so we can show them, this is where all pre-made, uh, sets are. So for example, uh, both Shannon and I are agriculture teachers. So in the top corner or in the top where it says search, if you type in agriculture, a whole bunch will come up. Um, I'm sure with math or anything like that, it will, um, do the same. So basically just like a hoot where there's pre-made things, um, Yes, and, and like I said, it's pretty new still, so people are still uploading their things. Um, and then there's the dashboard, which takes you back to your um, home. And you can see all of Shannon's favorite, or the ones she's made. <laughs> and then create is same thing, like Kahoot, it looks fairly similar. You can um, add your title, add all of your questions, uh, add some pictures. Um, also import Quizlet. Uh, I know a lot of people have uh, flashcards and things like that on Quizlet. You can import straight to here so that you don't have to. Can you import Kahoot's or have I, to redo? I don't know if you can. I don't think I they've gotten seen. that far. Yeah, I have to redo the Kahoot ones. Yeah, I haven't tried that one yet. Maybe we should do that. I'll try it um, and I'll let you know, Julia. Um, but yeah, so that's Quizlet. I, I think there's a way that you can, uh, you can do it though. Um, the next one is your stats. So you can see kind of where everybody falls or where, if you've played games, you can see where you fall, um, and things like that at the end. Oh, here's our books. So they're called books. They're like the little icon kids love these. This is like their first like attention getter. They get to choose their own character basically. And um, a lot of times when the kids, some of them, you don't have to sign up. You don't have to have your kids sign up for them. But if they do choose to, they can earn new ones and unlock new ones, which is like kind of a motivation um, for them in my class anyways. Um, and then your basic settings and everything like that. Questions so far on this part? Did I go too fast on anything? Just want to double check. Everyone good? Cool. All right. How about uh, how do we create an account? Okay. So you just go to uh, blookit.com. I will put the link in your in the chat. And basically, it's the same thing. You just you can log in um, using Google. You can create an account that way. Um, you would just click sign up in the upper right hand corner, and it's free. Um, it's free for students to use. Um, and at the end of each game, it will have uh, where students can sign up. You don't have to. You can just tell them just click X and they won't have to sign up. Or if you want them to, you can. And you can set this up into different folders for different things, depending on what 
you want. Like if you have different units, you can do different folders. Cool. Should we play a couple of rounds? I think that's next, right? I think so. <laughs> yes. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to break out into probably two um, breakout rooms. So I'll take a room. Shannon will take a room. And we're going to play a couple of rounds just so you guys can get the idea of what, uh, what it is and how students will see it and whether or not it will work in your class. So um, let me do that. But before I do that, uh, all you're going to need is your computer or phone. You can play on whatever device you have. Um, we're going to all go to uh, bookit.com slash play. There is, a, um, there is a block where you can just turn it off. So right before the game goes, and I think we can do this when um, we can share our, our screens in um, the breakout rooms to show where this is at. Does that sound good, Shannon? Yes. Cool. Um, we're going to go to bookit.com slash play. Once we get in our breakout rooms, we'll give you a unique um, game ID, and then you should be able to follow the steps from there. So let me do that. Set up. Okay, here we go. Shannon, did it pop up for you? Yes. Which room are you going to so I can, where are you at? Did everybody get a room, yeah? Awesome.
Shannon, did you guys finish? You guys were okay, right? Yep, they finished both. Okay, sorry. My uh, my internet over here is not being my friend on my phone. It's probably just my phone, but you know. Cool. Um, so hopefully everyone had fun. I know my my uh, breakout rooms had a lot of fun. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, now's your time. We don't have all the answers. We're still learning Look It, and they update it, like, almost, I feel like monthly. There's something new on there. Um, so we will try our best. If we don't know your answer, I will find an answer and try and help you. So any questions? If you don't have questions and you're kind of just like, oh, I want to get my uh, account set up now, you, we can go ahead and do that. Um, and then we will post our evaluation in just a second. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to be here for questions. So if you needed any help, if you have any questions about anything, let us know. We wanted to give about 10-ish minutes before the evaluation, 10, 12 minutes for any questions, or if you wanted to set up your own account but had questions on how to do that, that we were here for you. Or comments on Book It, or if you know Book It already, we're, we're up for anything, suggestions, maybe ideas on how to use it in the classroom. How do you add quiz? So from, so from Quizlet, our quizzes from Quizlet, I can create. Hopefully you can see this. Why are you taking forever? The internet gods have said, no, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can do it on my end. Oh, wait, I have to put in a title. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so create your set. You hit the Quizlet, then create your set. Your Quizlet or search Quizlet. So if I just search Quizlet, let's continue with me. I can put it in, I don't know. Can you share that side of your screen? Oh, yes. Sorry. We're still there. <laughs> there you go. So it'll bring me to Search Quizlet. If I wanted like the logos, this is the one that I want. I want to add it there. So then I should be able to go to, where is it? So then once I find the one I like, I'm back on booklet to next step and I will have to hit export. So those three little dots, export and then copy text. So when I go to Quizlet, export, I want to copy her text. Paste it in there. It's gonna tell me that all of my grammar is wrong. Add questions. And they should, all the questions should be here. Sometimes pictures take a while. If the pictures don't show up, sometimes you have to put them in. It depends on the person's Quizlet and the pictures that they do. But that is the quickest way to add them. That's probably a bad example because it had pictures. But the questions do because some of mine in my own dashboard come from my Quizlet. So like this, my livestock equipment ID came directly from a Quizlet that I had that went in. And then I went in and I added pictures because I didn't like some of the other pictures, so I just added my own. Anybody else have any other questions? I know it's kind of simple because if you're familiar with Kahoot, they've kind of, I almost think they're almost the same, like they're owned by the same like website almost. 
um, because it's basically used the same way. How did we like it? I know my my uh, group liked it. Trouble signing up. Okay, let me see if I can help you. I'm going to grab a link for you. Very cool, yeah. Uh, once I got to book it, I never went back to Kahoot, if I'm honest. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I didn't do Quizlet either. I went straight to this. Yeah. The kids will, they, they love hate it because it's super, comp those who are super competitive love hate it. Yes, but it, it makes it for a fun time, I feel like. Um, so here's that website again. It's Blookit's website. And if you go up to the right-hand corner, it says sign up. And it should, mine doesn't show it anymore because I have one. Um, and it, it should uh, walk you through the steps. If you have a hard time, um, maybe we can meet one-on-one -on -one and try and figure it out. But um, I, I can't demonstrate it anymore because it's like, I already have an account and it won't let me go back. It just logs me in automatically. Yeah. I don't know if yours able, will do it. Should be able to hit sign up and then lock and then like sign up with Google mm -hmm. and your school account. It didn't do it. Oh no. What does your screen look like? It asked me to make a yeah, okay. So you can make a username and then link your school account. Let me see if I can do it on another. Because my username is just my first initial and my last name. Through Google either. So maybe Google doesn't like us. Hold on. That's my username. It's been a minute since I had to sign up for Blook It. I wonder if I do it in another account. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, yeah. So once you hit, so I'm on another, on my other Google account, but once you hit that website and then you hit uh, sign up, it should say like sign up, sign up with Google or sign up with email. Either or would work. Um, so you can sign up with Google or use the email and then it'll pop up. It'll tell you which one you want to sign up with and then you choose whichever one. I'm going to go through the steps really quick and then it'll have you make a username It'll say, are you older than 13? Hopefully we're all older than 13. <laughs> and then it'll have you sign up. And then it'll ask you if you're a teacher or a student. You could do uh, teacher. I thought it would change it. I signed into another Google, but it did not. It didn't? Oh, mine did. Mine Maybe you're on goal. <laughs> cool. If you're still having issues, um, I am happy to help. Yeah. One on We're one. We're here. Yes. Miranda is located at Ever Alvarez. I am located at North Salinas High School. And so if you're at those sites, you have a direct link to us. Yes. I may look a little from, uh, newer. Uh, last year was my first year teaching. So um, if you haven't seen me on campus, hopefully we get to know each other this year. <laughs> cool. I'm going to. Uh, how do you put one created in your list? Is that possible? Uh, I think if you favorite it, so if you see, um, like, it, it, Tanya, are you talking about, like, a already pre-made one? Yes. Okay, so, Shannon, if you go to Discover really quick. There you go. Click one, like, you can click, yeah, him. Um, you see that star? So if you clicked the star, now go back home. Um, the star on your left hand side and there it is bam I'm getting good at this <laughs> you're welcome yes it's fairly simple once you start playing around with it you'll be like oh okay I got this like it, it, we can do this yeah do we want to put the eval now or should we, we do that and then while we're doing the eval you guys can continue asking questions um, I know some of you are getting into your own account. So um, if you have questions with your account, please let me know. If you're still having issues getting into an account, um, we can try and meet like one-on-one -on -one or with a small group and try and troubleshoot. Yeah. Let us know. and Or email. We'll, we'll help you out. <laughs> yes. We know technology is hard sometimes. 
I bet we all know that. <laughs> yes. We all have probably tons of stories. <laughs> Awesome. If you have any tips or have any ideas how, of how you plan on using this in your classroom, I would love to know because as a first year teacher, I will second year teacher. I'm going to be a second yes, year teacher. Second now. Year. I keep thinking that. Um, I will take all the tips, please. And thank you. <laughs> I'm always open to new ideas. Right now, I just use it for quiz reviews and like exit tickets. Mm -hmm. So if you have any other opinions or suggestions. So uh, I'll put it in again. I just put in the one that should have been. Yeah, put it in. So right in the chat is the link for the evaluation form. Awesome. Sweet. Yes, again, if you have any ideas how to use it, questions for us, we're here. Just let us know. On the front, I don't know if it ended up on the PDF, but our two names at the bottom. You're welcome, yes. You're welcome. Hopefully you learned something new that you can use that's beneficial. So I had a question on the, um, so like you favorited the animal blicket. So if that's on my dashboard, um, then I host it. Will I be able to get the information? Because I tried doing duplicate, you know, duplicate it, um, but it says you can't unless you upgrade and pay for it. So I, I, if it's, I'm not the owner of it, but I host it. Will I get the information on how the students did? Yes, it will give you stats on whatever game you host. Um, okay. So, so when it says duplicate, it's just making it like yours. And you don't really need to do that because you have it already if you favorited it. But yeah, it will give you stats on um, however your students did, what questions they missed, no matter what, um, no matter if it's yours or not. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Feel free to unmute. We are here for you. <laughs> yes, don't forget to do the uh, evaluation. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hopefully everyone got something out of it. Had fun. Had fun, right? Yes. Kahoot was my fave, but this will be. Yeah. Yes, I used to love Kahoot, and now I don't go back. I Because there's Same. a Kahoot version. <laughs> yes. So if you miss it, you can just go back. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Hope you all had some fun playing against some of your colleagues. Hopefully it was a break, a good break so somewhat of a break yay glad it was fun yes to end your first day of tech prep <laughs> good choice We're still on for another five minutes. So if you have any other lasting questions, let us know.
Um, Miranda and Shannon, I have a question for you. Um, I had left and I was like, oh wait, I forgot to ask. Um, have you assigned any individual, this as an individual homework assignment? And if so, how do you do that? I did it one time. Um, I'm going to be honest, I could have done better because it was the first time I did it. Uh, Shannon, yeah, so you can, if you go to homework, it tells you there's like a, where it says learn how to assign homework. It gives you a few things. Um, let me see. I have Where to did you click? Sorry, did you click at the top somewhere? I missed it. So when oh. I put my dashboard over oh. on the left side, I have not personally did it as homework yet. Okay. So I would have to put learn how if, to assign homework. If you click um, one of yours, Shannon, so like if you go back to your set, uh, just whatever one, um, there should be. Yeah, because I was playing around with it and I saw the solo option but i was like it was letting me play as a teacher by myself and i was like yeah. no 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 it's been a minute since i've done it um right. let me see hold on um shoot i think you have to find it okay here we go so once you pick one that you like and you hit host there you go jump over you have to pick one like the gold one doesn't allow you to do homework but yeah, if i did right. tower defense yeah it lets me hit homework there you go and then it'll tell me how many days so it said it just for one but how many days hours minutes mm -hmm. number of round goal setting and then assign now Dang. okay yeah sorry i it, i did it one time and i forgot how to do it but yeah cool i think when you assign it now too you just give the kids um a link I think that's how, yeah, so you just give the kids that link. Um, for distance learning, I just put it in the Google Classroom, mm -hmm. and they clicked it from there. I added it as an assignment, and then you should get um, reports on it, which okay, will be in that, that's up above. But it's not synced to Google Classroom yet, right? No, no. not yet. Okay. Yeah, hopefully soon. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you went to the dashboard? Let... Yep. Sorry, so you went to the dashboard? Uh-huh. And then you just look, you chose a set and you just put, yeah. put host and you kind of hovered over it to see which one allowed you to do it as solo. Is that how you did? And then I hit host and once it goes to here, I click on each of them. And so like this one will only let me host a game. Mm -hmm. This one will only let me host. But when I got to defense tower, it gave me the option of homework or host. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. You think we're good to stop recording? I think so.